Howdy all of you delicious daddies out there. <laughs> we are going, for some reason, uh, to be playing the game Dream Daddy. Uh, realistically, uh, this game was put together by uh, some YouTube group called Game Grumps. Anybody heard of those Game Grumps? Yeah, I've heard of them. <laughs> I know them. Uh, I've seen so many people play this game over time. Jacksepticeye, uh, uh, Up Up Down Down, Austin Creed recently had uh, played this game. And so, realistically, I'm like, why not give it a try? Uh, I'm very familiar with Game Grumps and what have you. Uh, Ninja Sex Party and all kinds of other stuff. So, I, have, I uh, uh, again, I'm going into this knowing full well. Um, who these people are, why I'm doing it. Isn't it fresh to have <laughs> somebody um, who actually is familiar with things actually do games? Unlike normal, where somebody is going in completely blind, not knowing who Game Grumps are, not knowing who, uh, what Dream Daddy is, and what have you. Uh, if you aren't familiar with um, this thing called Dream Daddy... Realistically, what happens is we have a daddy who had lost his uh, wife to circumstances, and this daddy ends up liking uh, very much so other daddies. <laughs> and and when you grow when you grow older, kids, and you get the growing of the hairs, you'll know what I mean. Uh, but let's get on with story. Hopefully, um, if anything, one thing I want to mention: there's a link down below. Uh, that uh, you'll see and show and whatever. If you guys like to donate anything to this cause, to this channel, to this whatever, whether it's a dollar or a dime, you can donate any time. Um, whether it's for some exclusive DLC or a shout-out or some other mystery. Anyways, let's get on with the game. I'm sleeping! I'm sleeping, everyone. I'm still sleeping, all disease. Dad! I'm sleeping! <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Wake up! Wake up, pretend to be dead, five more minutes. Uh, let's pretend to be dead. I always like to pretend to be dead. I like my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dan! It hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. <laughs> Dan, I swear to God! <laughs> Amanda, I bequeath you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. <laughs> okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van before it's leaving soon. I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room. Spooning a moving box, I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Yikes, Dad. Breath. Go brush your teeth. Maybe I don't want to brush my teeth. Maybe I want full-on dad breath right in your face. Just, ha. Deal with my breath. Deal with it. Just deal with it. You better deal with it. Better. Better take it all in. Take all the dad in right now. Better take it all in. <laughs> Soothingly. Alright, well, I'm not going to show the whole customization thing. I'll probably show the end product, uh, just because, realistically, uh, time constraints and what have you, and we can get out more story that way. So I'm going to pause here and kind of show you guys the aftermath of what all I end up doing. So I'm going to pause here and I will be back. Uh, 
All right, this is as close as we could get uh, to uh, to how it all could come down. Uh, and our name is Grim Death Da Daddy. <laughs> Grim Death Da Daddy. So let's be that dad. Pay your bills early, that's a tip. Alright, have you ever read Rich Dad, Poor Dad? <laughs> uh, uh, anyone who tells you that a drink isn't manly, then never know the... has never known heart heartache. Yeah, heartache. Oh. Did you fall asleep packing? Well, I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait! Strang Straggler! Straggler and Strangler. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Yeah. Whoa! I haven't seen these in years! I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin working through it. Really looking through the memories. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen in my life. The only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I, the only way your mother and I, well... Didn't she have a mother in the past? I guess we'll go that way, that route. The only way your mother and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. Boo hooey! You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Halloween, when you were, uh, maybe four. <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. Oh. Yeah, definitely, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a... So, when you went... So you went with both. A dragon princess? Okay. Uh, so you went with both. Princess dragon. <laughs> Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in a mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear. I think? <laughs> right, yep, definitely represents that memory well. And this was you in the horse phase. D Dad! <laughs> I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. I, I don't think that was his... Uh, Amanda lunged for the photo, but I quickly snatched it away and 
held it above her head with my superior dad-like arms. Nice try, short stuff, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. <laughs> you know, when you have kids of your own, and I can show these photos to them and and make uh make you look a little uh shady in front of your kids. Go ahead and try me. I'll see pictures of you or er, I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. Hey, ska band is pretty pretty awesome. Don't even try and like front that uh ska bands aren't cool. Ouch, kid! Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. The Scrumunus Manifesto had a chance back in the day. We really had a shot. We almost got a freaking deal. We almost got a deal on the table. I look off in the distance and rem reminisce about that rad horn section. It was so rad, it was a real cool, real cool, radical horn section. Hey, isn't that Emma P? Isn't it? Is Emma? Emma P? No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly. That I will never stop mixing those two up. Never. It's never going to happen in a million years. I'm always going to mix those up. It's always going to happen. Believe me. Ugh. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. G give it like a little bit of effort. Come on, could you? Could you? Oh, right, Emma P. was the one who, you know, you know, <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> tried to steal people's pets, uh, fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station, pooped her pants during a sleepover. Well, if people know me, uh, poop jokes are always funny. Uh, fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. I tried to steal people's pets. Uh, I'm gonna go with poop because that's usually where that's uh, that's kind of where I roll. Um, Dad, that was me. I did that. Okay, well, cool, awesome. People poop. Oh, oh. <laughs> And I was having a sleepover with Emma R, who isn't Emma P. How about I just call them both Emma, because it doesn't matter? <laughs> she never told anyone, though. True Blue, that's Emma R. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R. Later, she'll get a, a big kick out of it. The first uh, photography award you ever won. Too bad you didn't have the best pose in this picture. <laughs> yeah, and it got us about 20 bucks in gift cards to... McFridays. Oh man, McFridays? Dang, I bet freaking McFridays had had something substantial grubs down there, you know what I'm saying? And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Tazada blasts. Well, with a name like that, I can see why I got food poisoning. I think you mean food poisoning you know, with a Z. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Like a schoolgirl. 
Still proud of you, though. <laughs> Still a little proud. Proud dad. I'm proud. I'm, I'm, I'm proud. Proud dad. I'm proud. Amanda reached... Bleh. Amanda reached deep down into the box and pulled out one last photo. Thank God, because I was hoping that we were going to move this game along eventually, sometime today. Neither of us said a word. We stare at the photo longingly for a long moment in the sun. I love you, Amanda. I finally decide to break the silence. Break it down! Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> this was the day you were born. This was the day we adopted you. I think we should go with adoption. <laughs> so that way, if any time she comes up with anything, we're like, well, you're not my, my real kid. <laughs> you're not my real kid. <laughs> you're my adopted kid. Oh, even though there's nothing wrong with adopting a kid or whatever, um, there's nothing wrong with having a kid born either, but it's just kind of it comical, uh, comical ways of, uh, and plus, uh, I would much rather adopt a kid. Uh, anyways, uh, this was the day we adopted you. It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big. Just a little fender bender in the parking lot but of course i was freaking out i was going freaky deaky you don't understand and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out everybody was freaking out we were all going extremely freaky deaky and i didn't know what to do with my life <laughs> i just didn't know what to do with my life but your mother god bless her oh man she holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes and says, You're a moron. <laughs> the calmest I've ever seen her, she says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Because realistically, we have an adopted kid. She was right, you know. I stare at the pi I I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long, just just a little bit too long, just a little bit too lengthy. Just I just keep on staring for some awkward reason. I miss her, I really do, for some reason. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Even though I really just... Yeah, it is what it is. She pats me on the back, and I fart. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. Well, I'm gonna make them just wait forever. I'm just gonna just let... I'm just gonna wait it out. You're right. You're right. You're right about that. Huh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. Man, what a sh box. <laughs> what a sh box that house was. <laughs> So mem many memories here, so little time. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 million years ago, when we were cavemen. <laughs> hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? Yeah, and we never got that fixed. <laughs> We, we, we never got that window fixed. <laughs> you always had a very strong arm and strong legs and strong head. And you were just you were just a muscle freak. It was weird. <laughs> hey. 
Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window? Pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? Yeah, um, we never cleaned that either. <laughs> but hey, at least you got that out of your system, right? <laughs> You are a very imaginative child. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> Maybe we should have reeled you in a little bit. Uh, hey, remember when I broke the back window? <laughs> we get it, Amanda. You love to break stuff. You love to break things. You should be in prison by now. <laughs> And there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. I I'm I am handcuffing you to a chair. <laughs> Whenever you go into the house, I'm handcuffing you to the chair. And so that way you don't break a single thing unless you break the actual chair. And then there's probably nothing I can do after that. <laughs> Memories to make and stuff to break. You ready? Ready for the big time, baby? We sit in silence for a moment, and I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my fart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind, knowing that the next leap will be probably to another house, another neighborhood, another whatever. Leaving this all behind. <sighs> I'm 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 ready. Ready for the big time, baby. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house. Our old house disappear in the rearview mirror as if it were yesterday. So... So what? <laughs> so, sell me on your cool new pad. Oh man, this pad is freaking legit. Like, if you've never seen a pad before, man, I'm just... Uh, it like fireworks every time i like get to the house just fireworks just shot out for some reason i clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice ha <laughs> nestled in beauty scenery or er, scenic downtown maple bay a new house features Washer and dryer hookups, a two-car garage, multiple places to sleep. Multiple places to sleep. Sounds like the funniest one that I could go with. Multiple places to sleep. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor place. Where you can, yes, catch a wink. And I mean wink a lot. What a deal! I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. Of course. You sleep more than anyone, you know. I... I admit my faults, Pop. I keep it real. What are you, gangster now? <laughs> are you gonna represent? Are you gonna be one of the Crips of the Blood soon? <laughs> uh, anyway, it's almost smaller than our last house. So we're going into even a smaller sh box? Is that the plan, I take it? Cozy, one might argue. G 
good spin on it because yeah, your dad can't afford a bigger house because we're living on a budget, buddy. Living on a budget. I think it's great! Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can uh, walk to so I don't have to waste gas and I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know, a little bit daunting of a task. Amanda, you know we're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? You do realize that eventually it'll it'll happen, you know? It's it's yeah. Not gonna happen, Pops. Popperino, Papa Diddly, Papa Diddly Pop. Deep Daddy. <laughs> I think someone needs to do a three point turn on their attitude. <laughs> Don't make me turn this car around. <laughs> uh, I don't know how you do that either. <laughs> Or how to do that, either. Have you met the neighbors yet? No, I'm, I, I never, I never do that kind of thing. I just, I just, like, am going, hey, you, over there, you live there. Yeah, great, don't, don't, don't recognize me. Don't point me out. <laughs> Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. So you don't have to chase any rowdy teens off your yard? Yeah, because I'm going to be like Clint Eastwood and be like, Get off my lawn! <laughs> my grass is expensive. You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Realize that. Realize that in your life. I'm in my last year of high school... I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're practically dust. You basically are realistically just dust in the wind. Yeah, you're a real pain in my... <laughs> Don't you dare! Don't you even dare. Senior? What do you think I was gonna say? <laughs> you're a real pain in my senior. <laughs> Dad, I know where this is going. So what are you going to do for the rest of your life? <laughs> citizen, you're a senior citizen. You're a senior citizen. You're a real, just old folks home pain in my ass sprint. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore that because... I'm old. <laughs> but I won't forget it. I have it in the rear view mirror of my mind. And it'll come back while we turn this car around. So what item number one on the new house... So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well... First, I'll need to forge a path through the fire and brimstone and the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. And I'm going to have to go through the, the, the fires of Mordor and, and all kinds of crazy stuff. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Because I need some lettuce, for some reason. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Well, yeah, that sounds great. Sounds great. Okay, okay. You're right. You've got me over a barrel here, kid. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. Sounds great. 
but I think I'm going to greatly uh, call this a wrap for the first episode, uh, if anything. Uh, yeah, here. Uh, realistically, if we continue, we continue. But I'm going to uh, call this video a do. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.